So this is my controller and this is my broken trendnet webcam that uh, I'm going to take this and uh, take the antenna off of this guy. Yeah, so I'm the Trendnet TV IP 110 W slash A camera in this thing died. So I'm going to just take the antenna and uh, put it in this guy. Now to do that, I've already taken screws out of this and on this guy you need to move the batteries and then move that screw, this screw, this screw, this screw and then there's a couple up here and then there's two here. So basically you remove those eight screws and batteries and then you can take the back of this off and there's two wires you got to be careful and the buttons will also just gonna like pull these buttons off for now so they're out of the way and then we'll have to take the board out of here which so now we'll have to take the board out of here and which we'll have to remove the other eight screws these guys across there and four on the bottom. So uh, I'm going to do that and uh, take this part and I'll so show I took you the eight screws like. out that hold the board on. And right here you can see the there's the antenna. And right behind the antenna, yeah, there's the antenna. And right behind the antenna is a grounding pad. Try to put it on. Here's where the antenna goes. So back over here is the antenna. So this board has two connectors. It's one there, one there. Try and take one of these off and put it onto here in place of this antenna and then we'll be able to hook up this antenna. Well, I couldn't get the surface mount one off the other board. It turned into a disaster. So anyway, I stripped the wires and I soldered them on. They're not real pretty, but I tested them. I think it's gonna be okay. We'll try putting it back together here shortly. Um, as you can see, there's my connector with the screw and antenna. On there. Now the other thing they did was they put this cheap little <laughs> put this cheap little plastic thing in here, which wasn't a real antenna. But I'm gonna try and use this to make a mount um, for this and the other one. Actually, I'm just gonna cut this and try to save the square piece on the end or rectangle piece there. So I've got my razor knife almost all the way through there. Um, but I was going to show you a little trick here when you're cutting plastic like this. With a razor knife like this. The best thing, or the easy way to do it is take a lighter. And just heat up the blade. So, I don't want to get it too hot. So, you'll have to kind of experiment with that. But uh, that's what I'm doing to cut through this. Just in case you're wondering. So I got the end of the piece. Cut off the end of the antenna. Now I can put it onto the end of this piece. So I have the end piece and the nut and the washer. And then here's this piece. We're just going to throw that away. And then put these back on the end of the connector and then attach the antenna, like so. So, when it all goes back together, it will look like that. Put it back together now. That's as far as it goes. Maybe? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay.
check to make sure still got two more screws Once the buttons are back in, there we go. Put the top back on, or the bottom, I guess, depending on how you want to look at it. And that's the four big ones. Now we got the four little ones. And make sure they're tight, not real of course or anything. We got all the screws on there and tight. Let's check out all our controls one more time. Looks like everything's working. Now we we'll just have to put the batteries in and try it. Alright, got everything put back together, I got the batteries in there, so let's turn it on and see if it'll bind and at least work. First we turn the copter on and then Oop. and it looks like it binds <laughs> alright well Today is really windy, so I'll have to wait for another day to see how much further range I get out of this. I'll let you know.